The story always comes to mind because both of the both the victim and offender have done such incredibly hard work. Um, this was a stranger rape. This is a uh, the victim was in her late fifties at the time, and the offender had just gotten out of a juvenile facility, and he was seventeen. Here's a woman who um, had always opened her door to strangers, had taken in foster children, um, was an avid gardener, was always outside on her front porch yelling hi to her neighbors and things like that. She never opened her shades again or her curtains. She kept them for 10 years closed. She never um, did Halloween candy, you know, for trick-or-treaters. She never worked in her garden again. And she blamed herself. She found out he didn't know her from anyone. He wasn't stalking her. The day she found that out, she sent an email to Kim and she and said, um, for the first time in 10 years, my curtains are open and I'm going to plant a garden. And he was so, and he still is, so remorseful and so um, doesn't know what to do to make things better. He wrote to everyone in her family, her husband, her granddaughter, her son, um, to say he was sorry. He wrote a letter for her to read at the juvenile um, detention facility for her to read to those boys. 97% um, approximately of all offenders, no matter how serious their crime is, they're going to be released from prison. And so are we going to release them without any intervention or um, people are realizing that we need to do something? I always like to think about this as a journey of hope because um, you see from what the offenders say and what the victims say is how much their lives have been transformed by this um, by this program.